All right, so here's an easy video on playing Red by Taylor Swift. I'm capoed at the fourth fret, and let me just kind of show you what, what we're going to be doing here. Here's the intro, the sort of banjo intro there. What we're going to be doing is playing an F chord. We're going to pluck the fourth string, third string, and second string. Okay, so we can just do those. And then we're going to make an A minor chord and do those same three strings, four, three, and two. And then we're actually going to go to a G chord by just taking the hand off entirely and plucking those same three strings. Okay, so all you really have to do in, in the beginning is just try and do this. Okay, now if it feels pretty comfortable to you, another thing that you can do is you can start embellishing by adding on this. So you pick the outside strings four and two. So if you listen to the song, you'll hear that. Okay, you can just kind of have some fun with that as well. Now when you get to the next section, which is the pre-chorus, you're going to be playing F, and you can play it as a bar chord if you know that, or just a regular chord, F. Chorus is F, C, G, G, and then F, A minor, G, G. Then you go to the chorus, which is just F, A minor, G, G again. So you have F. And again, if you can strum like I'm strumming, you just sort of make something up that sounds compatible. Don't strum them all. You know, don't. It sounds kind of silly. Try and make up a pattern that's comfortable for you. Too hard to strum, just strum once per chord. Just go F, A minor, G. Again, the point is, is just to play along and have some fun. So don't get too wrapped up if something is too difficult. Simplify it a little bit. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do, we just keep going back and forth between the thing. And then we've got our pre chorus, which was the F, C, G, G, F, A minor, G, G. And then your chorus, which was F, A minor, G, G. Again. The next part we get into is this little interlude where you're doing this. You're going to go F, G, A minor, G, C, F, E minor, G. So ideally, if you can play that by stopping the strings each time, and again, if you're just playing F down here, that's fine. It sounds a little more like the song. If you can't stop the strings, I'm just touching the strings in between each strum. Okay? If you can't do that, you could just strum. It won't have quite the same effect. And again, if that's too hard, just strum once per measure. Uh, or once per chord, I should say. But ideally, try and get those pauses in. same measure. So you have F for four beats, and you can write this down of course, F to G, A minor, then G to C, then F for four beats, E minor, and G, and then we're back on the verse. the solo is. Then we come out of that again into the pre-chorus like normal, except the beginning, the strumming's a little different. It goes, is it four strums or three strums? And then C, and then G, and you just kind of build, and then you're back into the normal F, A minor, G, G like before. But you'll hear the, the, the drums punch on those. Then G, in until the end of the song. We just keep doing the chorus, F, A minor, G, G. Okay, so capo four, 
Uh, again, memorize the patterns, memorize the chord changes, and then go back and start trying to add the strumming as best you can. And if you have any questions, let me know.